What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about drinking cultures in the United States versus Japan. Specifically, we're going to be talking about drinking with your coworkers and how it's different. Also, we're going to learn how to not get too drunk if you want to. For those who don't know me, my name is Mark and I'm an American currently living and working in Tokyo. And when I say I'm living and working, that means I actually work at a Japanese company and I work with a lot of Japanese people. So I remember when I first started my job in Japan, I was brand new and everybody in my company, they really wanted to celebrate me joining the company. We got a booth in a restaurant because it's a rel relatively small company I work for. I think there's maybe 40 people or so and maybe I think 20 people ended up coming uh, to the restaurant. So it's not like we're renting out the entire restaurant. I think we had uh, got a couple tables. Eating and drinking just like you would with any other company. And I remember, I remember it like it was yesterday, kind of. Uh, I, I, I kind of remember it like it was yesterday. I, I remember the, the beginning. Anyway, so this is this is what happened. I, I started, uh, you know, just drinking and chatting with everybody. I had my cup, and it was cool. I would just take my cup, and we would we would fill it up with some with some alcohol, right? So just like we'll fill it up right there, and then somebody else would normally fill it up for me. I I wasn't actually pouring this myself. They wanted to be polite and fill it up. Uh, for you, so you know, I'd have a full glass right there. There's a full glass, and then I would, I would start sipping on it. Mm. Ah, and then about the time it got to about halfway full, uh, or mm, mm, a little less than halfway full, people ugh, would take it. And they would fill up again. And then they'd, they'd top you off. And then, and then, I, I wanted to be polite. So I'd say, great, great, thank you for filling up my drink. I will, I will honor you by drinking what you had given to me. Because, I, you know, I just moved to the country, I wanted to be polite. If somebody wanted to give me a drink, I want to make sure that I finished it for them. So that I would... So then I would continue to drink it. Mm. Um, uh, oh, I would just continue to drink the alcohol. And every time I finished it, they would fill it back up again. And it was just an endless cycle of me finishing a drink and then filling it back up. And this is in complete contrast within the United States because in the United States whenever we uh, I would go out with my coworkers I would have like a drink maybe two three if we're going you know absolutely crazy but here three drinks is just like a starting point people will drink like four or five six Pr pretty much you can just drink as much as you want and no one's gonna stop you or look at you differently. In the United States, normally you're paying like per drink at a restaurant. So a restaurant will, I don't know how much a drink costs at a restaurant, maybe like $5 or so, let's say $5. Um, in Japan, what you'll normally do is they'll have this thing called Nomi Hodai, which is basically just like, drink as much as you possibly want for two hours straight. So like people pretty much drink beer and alcohol like water. They'll give you a special menu called like a Nomi Hodai menu and they will just continue to fill up your cup. Oh, you're done? Ah, oh, no problem. We'll order six more. Hello, please give us more alcohol, please. Oh, no problem, here's all the alcohol you want. But in the United States, they would have to pay $5 for each one. But in Japan, you already paid, you paid up front. You said, okay, I'm gonna pay uh, $20 and I get to drink as much as I possibly want for these two hours. It gets you really drunk, is, is what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say. It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty rough. Um, and people really want to be polite, so they continue filling up your drink. Uh, but as far as I know, 
I haven't really seen any types of things where you can just drink as much as you want in the United States, but in Japan, it's super common. If you go to like any random restaurant, oftentimes they're gonna be advertising a Nomi Hodai, and they're oftentimes really cheap. Normally we'll find them, sometimes I'll see that from like $10 to maybe like $30, and lots of times they'll want you to order an entree. So for around like $30, $20-$30, you're gonna have you're going to be full and you're going to be able to drink as much as you want. And a lot of companies really like this because if you try to feed 10 people, 20 people all at the same time, it makes it much easier to split the bill and you don't have to worry about trying to figure out who ordered what because once it's, the party gets really large, it's kind of difficult. What's the takeaway here? You learned from my mistakes, so I'm going to teach you how to properly drink in Japan. If you have a cup like this, and it's about half full, if it's about half full, you're probably gonna be topped off, maybe. But if you're gonna drink, what you wanna do is you wanna leave it full, just like this. You wanna have it full, and you wanna keep it full almost the entire night. If you start drinking it, people are going to fill it back up. But if you keep it full, and maybe just take a sip here and then, huh? Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Like every five minutes, you take a little sip like this. Mm -hmm. Ah, yummy, yummy. Good, good. Oh, thank you for the thank you for the drink. It's it's fantastic. But as soon as you start finishing drinking quickly, they will fill it back up and you will need to crawl home. And that's not the end of it. Once you go to your Nomi Hodai, that's what we call Ichiji Kai, which is the first round of drinking for the night. Then there's another thing called Niji Kai, which is pretty much just like the after party to the party. So, you know, like in the United States, sometimes people have like the pregame, and then the game game, and then the post game, but. In the, in the in the post game, they call it the Niji Kai, and after people will go and drink at the restaurant, they will go to another bar where they will just continue to drink more and more and more. Midnight comes around, the trains actually stop running in Tokyo, so you have a decision to make. It's around 11:45 midnight, and the last train starts at is at 12:30. What do you do? You have one or two options. First option is you can uh, you can go home and you can go home and say like hey everybody it was a great night I gotta catch the last train but a lot of people they don't do that what do they do they got out of work at seven they started drinking eight maybe to ten now they're at Niji Kai from you know maybe ten to midnight and now the last train is coming but they don't want to stop so they just keep going. You just, you keep, you keep on going, you, you keep on staying at the bar, maybe you go to another bar, you go to Sanji Kai, oh, great, that was fun, let's go to karaoke. So now, so now we're, we're getting drunk with our coworkers, now we're going to karaoke, we're singing, we're dancing, we're laughing, before you know it, it's 6 a.m. And you gotta go to work the next day. And if that, if that sounds fun to you, which honestly, it kind of, it, it kind of does sound a little bit fun, uh, to, to like stay out all night partying, um, with your coworkers, like, that, that's pretty cool. But if you don't want that to happen, maybe you don't like your coworkers, or you just don't want to ruin the day tomorrow, just, uh, just continue sipping, sipping on your drink, like this, like, uh, it's still a full cup right here, and I'm just continually sipping on it. Mmm. Ah. And I can have good conversation without getting without getting too drunk. So, if, if you guys like videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm making all kinds of awesome videos comparing the U.S. and Japan and how to live here as a foreigner. Alright, catch you in the next one.